Hello. Today we're going to talk about business. Our purpose will simply be to define it so you have a clear understanding of what it is. So let's start with the big question mark. Now, textbooks define business as the organized effort of individuals to produce and sell for a profit the goods and services that satisfy society's needs. Basically, there are three activities, the organized effort, for a profit, and to satisfy needs. To be successful, a business must perform all three activities. It must be organized, it must satisfy customer needs, and it must earn a profit. So to formulize it, success equals or occurs when a business is organized and it satisfies needs and makes a profit. Let's take a closer look at each activity. Number one, it must be organized. Let's mark this as number one. To start with, businesses generally combine four basic resources. They combine human resources informational resources financial resources and material resources in an efficient and effective manner to accomplish business goals. Now probably the most important resource a business has are its human resources. Generally, human resources are organized by using an organization chart like this. Where possibly, this person might become the CEO of the organization, and this person become the vice president of marketing, this person the vice president of operations, and this person the vice president of finance. Each perform a different function based on the knowledge, skills, and abilities they bring to the job. And there is a defined chain of command. So a business must be organized. Now let's talk about the number two activity. A business must satisfy the needs of its customers. Let's mark that as number two. Well, what are needs? Here is a bunch of people, and they may have needs. Everybody has different needs, but some can be grouped. Basically, people generally do not buy goods and or services simply to own them. They buy products and services to satisfy particular needs. Again, to formalize it, a need is a want that can be satisfied with a product or service. It's important to understand that when firms lose sight of customers' needs, they are likely to find the going rough. However, when businesses understand their customers' needs and work to satisfy those needs, they are usually successful. Now, the number three, or third activity, is that a business must earn a profit. Let's mark this as number three. Okay, a business receives money, sales revenue, from its customers in exchange for goods or services. It must also pay out money to cover the expenses involved in doing business. If the firm's sales revenues are greater than its expenses, 
it has earned a profit. However, if expenses exceed revenues, that creates a loss. Now, an important thing to remember is when you are out of cash, you are out of business. If you continually generate a loss, you will eventually run out of cash, and without cash, you will go out of business. In conclusion, again, business consists of three activities. Number one, it is the organized effort of individuals to produce and sell. Number two, the goods and services that satisfy society's needs, and number three, for a profit. This concludes our presentation. We hope you now have a good understanding of what business is all about. Thank you.